My name is Joram Trommelen. I'm an assistant professor at Maastricht University and our research is focused on nutrition and exercise to promote muscle health. Protein consumption is well known to be crucial for muscle mass and muscle growth and a single meal of protein stimulates muscle protein synthesis rates for several hours. Therefore, it's important to consume protein in each of your main meals. After dinner, there's often a prolonged period of 10 to 12 hours where there's no new protein intake. And as a result, amino acid availability is low during the night. And therefore, it has been speculated that the consumption of protein just before sleep may improve overnight muscle protein synthesis rates. So in recent years, research has started to investigate whether pre-sleep protein consumption can stimulate overnight muscle protein synthesis rates and as a result, improve the recovery and the training adaptations of athletes. It has been demonstrated that pre-sleep protein is properly digested and absorbed and this results in increased amino acid availability throughout the night. And these amino acids are taken up into the tissues where they are built into muscle tissue it's called muscle protein synthesis. And this effect is even more evident if physical activity is performed earlier in the day. When combined with resistance exercise training, pre-sleep protein consumption on a regular basis can further augment gains in muscle mass and strength. While protein supplementation is common practice in strength athletes, our recent studies suggest that it may also be of benefit for endurance athletes. In that study, we investigated the impact of 45 grams of dairy protein provided before sleep when compared to a placebo in recreationally active men. Pre-sleep protein not only stimulated the synthesis of contractile proteins that are important for muscle mass and strength, but also the synthesis of mitochondrial protein that are crucial for energy production during prolonged exercise. Pre-sleep protein is emerging as a promising strategy to improve muscle recovery and improve the training adaptations to various kinds of exercise. We will continue to investigate how to optimize this strategy to promote adaptations in athletes, but also whether other populations such as older adults or clinically compromised patients may benefit from this nutritional strategy.